What's up, Bird Nation? It's your boy, Rare John, coming at you with another video. And uh, today, I wanted to go over a few different things, uh, address some issues that went on in my last video, which, goddamn, y'all fucking cooking my boots in the damn comment section. I'm tripping out on how many people are supporting this piece of shit, but hey, ah, whatever whatever floats your boat, man. Y'all do you. Y'all do you, all right? So it's a beautiful day. I thought I'd do a video outside. That and my... My shit's just acting up, man. I'm not feeling good. I uh, haven't been feeling good for the last few days. I wanted to get some fresh air. <sighs> so what's up, Raider Nation? How y'all doing? Now, as you know, I got I put out a video. It was a quick snip, dude. It was a quick video that I put out uh, about my thoughts on Jamarcus Russell and his view uh, and his thoughts and his side of the story as people would say problem with that is guys it's just the same old shit the reason i reacted the way i reacted is because back in 2010 i want to say he put out an article talking about what he thought of about the raiders and what he thought about his time with the raiders and pretty much it was the same shit it was the exact same shit i read the exact same fucking thing that he did in this interview and it was very infuriating because uh, he hasn't changed. He hasn't fucking changed, guys. Like, I, I don't know what... I don't know what else to tell some of y'all. Like, he took no responsibility. He took no fault in the matter. Every single time they asked him directly about his fuck-ups, he put it on his age, or he put it on the team. He put it on the coaching. He put it on everything else, which very much frustrated me as a fan. You got to understand, I came from it from the mindset of this guy could throw the ball 70 yards. This is what we needed. This is what we want. You know, and I thought this guy was going to be the next coming. You know, he was going to be the, the man. So to go from there to where I'm at now, you got to understand, ain't no fucking way I'm going back over there. No way. Especially when it comes to people saying we need to hear his side of the story. Here's the problem, guys. Um, I've heard this already, and everyone at the other side of the story isn't just one story. It's multiple, multiple stories telling the same fucking story. That this dude was a lazy piece of shit, that this dude did not put any effort into this team, and that this dude basically rather go out party and fucking drink and do a bunch of other stupid shit. And it came from multiple sources, man. It's like... Yeah. I don't know what to say, guys. If you want to give this guy a second chance and give this guy a pass... Good for you. I'm, it's not coming for me, though. No, as a man, I understand. Uh, going through drama, going through shit in your life, sometimes you got to put things aside. But he didn't want to put us aside. He wanted that money. And, uh, I mean, who wouldn't? Let's be real. I mean, I'm not going to front on that. Who wouldn't? And I get it. Our organization wasn't the best. Uh, but some of the shit he said in that fucking interview, man, it's just like, what the fuck? Seriously? Why? Oh, why would you fuck with my? Why would you fuck with my career like that? Why would you give me a fake? Why wouldn't you watch it, bro? Dude, <laughs> you know it's like, what the? <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm just saying. Um, I'm like, I'm in under no delusion that I could do anything that Jamar Russell has accomplished. Okay, the guy was, you know, an amazing player at LSU. Like, when it came to actually balling out in college, the man did his fucking thing, okay? But in the league, I'm not looking at it as a fucking player. I'm not looking at it as someone that actually played the game. I'm looking at it from a fan perspective, from a fan opinion, okay? Here's the thing, guys. A lot of people saying he's living in my head rent-free, that I'm overreacting, that, uh, that I'm letting him ruin my day, a bunch of shit like that. Look, guys, this is actually me in a good mood. You think this, you think this is bad? You think that that reaction was bad? You should have seen me back in 2008 when I was watching this guy throwing half dead ducks at the old co. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Trust me, I was a lot worse. Um, this is a more calmer me. <laughs> All right. By the way, shout out to Pivot Podcast. I don't give a fuck if you had that piece of shit on. I am never going to hold anything against that podcast. That podcast is amazing. They have the best fucking interviews. Uh, much love to them. I just believe, in my opinion, that they were they were throwing some softball questions his way, and they weren't they weren't even trying to catch the ball after he bunted this shit. 
All right. It's like, so yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, that's just my opinion. But, uh, at the same time, you know, it, it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta tender to the guests that you're uh, asking the questions to, I guess. And maybe Russell's a sensitive guy. I know some of his fans and supporters are some sensitive ass people, man. Would you say this to his face? No, I would not say this to his face. I wouldn't be able to say it to his face. The dude's almost seven fucking foot. I would need a goddamn ladder to climb up to say it to his face. All right. And y'all act, y'all, some of y'all act mightier than thou saying you wouldn't say this to his face. Well, duh. I'm a fucking fan, dude. This guy wouldn't step into a black hole and start talking shit to Raider fans, would he? Probably not. <laughs> so the Raiders are actually due for training camp starting next week, I believe. And uh, it's it's going to be interesting, man. I'm, I'm looking really forward to this season. Uh, we haven't had this amount of talent on our squad in a long time. Uh, haven't been this secure and this, you know, uh, consistent with the roster in a very long time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the Raiders really, really need to step up in certain areas. Uh, offensive line, of course. You got defensive back, linebacker, a couple different positions that you're going to have to watch during the freaking preseason, see who's going to emerge. Um, a lot of playing time for some rookies that need to show what they got. So I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, preseason games aren't really something that you would want to watch, you know, to get to get like all hyped up about when it comes to you know the actual game itself what you want to get hyped up about is mostly the players and the individual players that are going in and that are going to ball out uh to see who will emerge as a um candidate to start or to you know maybe second string so i'm very interested in this so on the nadamic and sue front look man i'm honestly at the point where it's i don't think we're gonna get him i honestly think he's using us as a bargaining chip like he always does and i'm over it uh, i am i'm over it um i think we should personally because i think he brings experience when it comes to you know actually stepping up in the middle and you know making sure they don't got anything to actually step up to i think this guy is probably one of the best fucking players available right now when it comes to free agency uh for us to bring in not only at a um decent level of play but also the level of experience he brings when it comes to teaching other players uh what to do what to look for little little tendencies and the defender that he's played before uh different things you know stuff like that that he could bring to the table i really want nadamik and sue on this team however i'm i just don't see it happening now it's getting too close to training cap it's getting way too uh you know kind of flossed out it's it's just not enough it's just not enough uh there for us to bring them in i just don't i just don't see it a lot of people trying to say that uh the raiders are the number are one of the teams in the mix for him uh i haven't heard anything guys uh on the raiders front raiders haven't made any statements on it even the beat reporters aren't even really talking about like oh they're they're making conversations with his agent or anything like that nothing so uh on that front, I don't see it happening, personally. I think we should get a veteran defensive tackle in the locker room, though. Get get Filone back, uh, who I call Phylon. I always call him Phylon. I fuck up his name all the time. But, hey, Phil, yo, Phylon, homie, homie, Darius Phylon is one of the best fucking defensive tackles that we've had uh, just last year alone. So, I mean... If you could bring him back, that'd be great. Bring him back. Like, at this point, we just need someone with experience. And if you were to bring him back, that's another plus because of the continuity. If you were to bring him back, that's good. You know, you got someone that's been there. Someone that was in the trenches with us, you know. Someone that actually went through the bullshit we went through last season. So, uh, that's, that's a plus, too. So, I read an article just recently about left tackle colton miller not being ranked in the top 10 of left tackles in the league and i think this is just a travesty it's total bullshit guys this man is at least number nine okay at least number nine um but uh, i look at all the other left tackles in the league and i, I do see a i do see a quite a few man uh that position has been you know a lot of, a lot of players stepping up in that position around the league so 
I mean, there's a lot of bias when it comes to the Raiders. Uh, a lot of players uh, that aren't going to be looked at the same because they came from on a team like us. Um, so you, sometimes you got to deal with that. I mean, I think it was J, uh, Fowler or something like that from ESPN that rank, did the ranking. Um, ESPN's pretty fucking popular, popular biased uh, when it comes to um, certain position rankings and shit like that. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Cole Miller, just keep doing your thing. He's a silent killer, guys. This guy, you don't hear his name a lot because you don't need to. He has, he has not given up. He's not giving up that many sacks. He's not giving up that many uh, um, leverage positions when it comes to pe- players getting by him. Uh, the guy just does his job, keeps his head down, and stays quiet. Um, hell of a fucking player, and I think that he should get recognition for it. But if he doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like it bothers him. He just gets, he's just the type of guy that goes to work and does his shit and moves on. Mad respect to Colton Miller. Uh, We also have a new president, uh, Sandra Douglas Morgan. Uh, Shout out to her. Man, first black female president of an organization in the NFL. That's why I love my team, man. Always breaking down barriers, always doing shit like that. Uh, Fucking love it. Uh, And when it comes to experience, uh, this girl has plenty of experience, man. Um, Way more qualified than some male candidates. And I honestly believe Mark Davis made this decision not because of her race, gender, or ethnicity. I think he did it because she was the best candidate. Um, it just it kind of baffles me. A lot of people think that you know they're they're making this move just to cover up some shit. Nah, man. Raiders are known for making these kind of moves. We're, we're known for uh, picking the obvious choice that nobody uh, really chooses. She is very qualified. I mean, when it comes to, you know, running the gaming commission in Vegas, when it comes to uh, knowing the actual people of Vegas and being from there, uh, knowing the ins and out of it, she's a very qualified person, man. And not to mention, uh, sooner or later, something like this got to happen, man. It sucks that you still hear first of, you know. Uh, and I know that, that that's like something you keep hearing uh, what I just said right now. But it, it's the truth, dude. It's like we got to stop hearing that i'm I'm, uh, like as a raider fan uh you you're proud that your team is the first to do something like this but at the same time it's kind of like dude seriously it's 2022 well why are we still hearing first of when it comes to something like this uh so again proud of my team proud of uh, my organization uh thank you raiders appreciate that uh for uh representing when it comes to equality uh so um moving on so, honestly, guys, I'm really looking forward to the preseason of the Raiders, man. Uh, I will be doing videos for it. Uh, I have been on the, you know, I've been on the back burner lately, guys. I honestly don't like putting out shit when someone else has already put it out. Like, I, I really don't like doing that. It's just, to me, in my opinion, the only time I'm doing something like that is when it's during the regular season. And I could give my view on what happened during the game, or I could give my opinion on what happened during the game. I'm doing my own thing when it comes to the recaps and shit. That's my shit. Uh, during the off season, I can't keep up with some of y'all, man. Y'all, y'all some grinders, man. And it, it just, it just ain't me, you know. It just ain't me. So, uh, shout out to all the Raider vloggers out there, all the Raider content creators out there. Uh, nothing but love to y'all, even though some of you I disagree with. Nothing but love to y'all, um, and um, even if y'all don't like me, it's cool. So I, I talk a lot of shit, and sometimes it's a little embarrassing, man. I'm that cousin that should have shut the fuck up like four beers in at the family reunion, all right? It's like, <laughs> I, I, I I get it. I'm a little bit much, but uh, I still got nothing but love for all of y'all, all the Raider vloggers and all the Raider content creators out there. Uh, y'all keep doing your thing. I uh, can't wait for the preseason. Once it starts... It's on and popping, man. Raiders are back. It's going to be great. All right, y'all. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, see you on the next one.